G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, the other day I was driving down the street in the old ute and uh, people are always trying out stuff on the footpath and, you know, occasionally you get some interesting stuff. One thing I'd never seen thrown out before was a telescope. Um, somebody was actually thrown out a telescope. One of those cheap ones you get off of eBay, you know, they're not very expensive. They've only got like two elements in them and uh, you know, it comes on a tripod and anyway, it's obviously not much good. Well, they wouldn't be throwing it out. So anyway, I thought, oh, yeah, telescope. Never had one of those before. So yeah, I grabbed it. And even though the telescope is buggered, I mean, it was crap to begin with, but it was just past it all, you know, it was so sloppy and had it murky to look through. But it had a tripod. And the tripod actually had potential. So I've junked the telescope. There was nothing in there worth salvaging of any use. Even the lenses were very low magnification. But I kept the, the tripod legs and the uh, swiveling head. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what I got. Yeah, handy. I got a little project lined up for it. So here are the bits that are any good out of it. There's the pivoting head. Telescope used to sit in here. Well, I don't know, that might be good for something. But the main thing is there's three of these extensions, uh, leg extensions, and these telescope out. Quite good. Well, not bad. They're made out of steel. And I mean, these sort of things are always handy. So I took one look at these and thought, yep, that's exactly what I want. I'll use one of these to make a camera bipod or monopod and a monopod is one of those things where you you basically can stand it vertically and just hold it rather than have it a full-size tripod when you're moving through you know car shows and that people get a bit nervous when you're walking around with a big tripod whereas a monopod yeah you can just fold it up and pull it out and just rest it on the ground and steady yourself to do to do shots so that's what I'll be doing. I'll be turning one of these into a monopod. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out these four screws and take the end out. That's no good to us. It's only a light die cast thing. We're going to have to make up an adapter, a fitting to go in here to hold the camera. So we'll take those screws out. Okay, the screws are out and we reuse those later. And as you can see, this is just a die cast thing with no guts in it. It's no good for the job. And I won't be using a pivoting head on this. I'm going to replace this completely. I mean, you could make up a, a bracket to make up a mount to pivot sort of on one axis, but that's not much, really much good. It's cheap and easy to just buy a fitting off the internet, which I've done, and use that. So I'll show you the fitting that I've got. So here's the fitting. It costs under $3 off the internet and I'll basically make up a, a mount for this end and this will fit on that, like that. And that allows me to pivot in any direction, which would be good if you want to say come in, shoot down on stuff. So I mean this is incredible value for $3 because the the bottom is all, this bit and this bit are all aluminium, solid, it's quite well made really. Good screw to tighten the, the ball joint, nickel plated. The top bit is, the uh, tightening pad is plastic but it's got a, a brass centre in it. And I mean you could even replace that, make up a little aluminium one which I've done before and uh, make it even more solid. That, that should be quite adequate for what I you want to use it for. So, now, we're already part way there because in the previous video I made up this. This is the new knob that I made up and Loctite the, um, the bolt in and that goes down here replaces some epoxy little screw they had in there so that would be 
block, not for the leg. You can lock it in any position. So we're already part way there. Um, you know, turned out pretty good, I think. A little bit of paint missing here and there. You could always repaint it if you wanted to, but I don't think I'll bother. So yeah, overall, this looks like it could be quite a handy little uh, little item when it's finished. So the first part of the job will be to make up something of the same dimensions as this. It can only go in that depth because of the leg sliding up inside. So we'll we'll duplicate that, but instead of having this this lightweight head on it, we'll uh, we'll make a solid head and basically just a flat end on it so that it will fit this. So it'll be a a flat section with a bolt on it which is the same thread as standard camera mount and then that will just screw on put, put the uh, fourth uh, bolts back in good to go I mean very very simple project This is the setup that I use when I'm turning most times to uh, keep the crap from flying all over the shed, particularly aluminium, which you've got to vacuum up. And you can't use the magnet. So, uh, yeah, you can see it's well and truly used, done a lot of work over the years, but it, yeah, it works well. You can still see the job. Um, the light shines in there, and it's just another little uh, tip, I suppose. Anyway, we'll push on.
Okay, so now we'll fit the the aluminium into the uh, the leg itself. And I'll, I'll do that with this screwed onto this, and then I'll drill the holes because I want everything to line up as far as the uh, orientation of the of this front pivot point, which lets it come right over. So I want that to come over have that facing forward and then have the knob that I tighten up the, the slide out leg coming out this way. So we'll try and get everything lined up. So I've got this screwed on first before I drill those four bolt holes and tap them. Right, now I'm just going to drill and tap those threads to take these little bolts that came out originally and we're all done. Finito. Drill's done a lot of work, you can tell by the noisy gearbox, it's uh, well and truly worn. That's my favourite drill, my old AEG. Best drill out of the whole bloody dozen I've got. Fantastic drill. Not too big, not too small. Can run it off the Ute Inverter. Or the small Jenny. If I'm on a job site, so, fantastic. You don't, don't want a great big drill, you just want a, a good little 500 watt quality unit like that with all the features. Come on, baby. Hmm. Well, you what you can make out of junk. even need me lock tight. These are pretty bloody tight. Well there you go. There's the finished job. Turned out pretty good, I think. And up this end we've got the, uh, the swiveling bit that you put your camera on which you can lock in, actually you can turn this, I found it after you can actually turn this, so these lining these screws didn't really matter, that's not important. And you can, uh, you know, put it in any position. Pretty nifty, I mean there's no such thing as junk when there's a bit of imagination, and you're good to go. And a small load of course, you've got to have a small load. Everybody needs a small load. Well, that's it. Here's a final look at the monopod with my old original Canon A480 uh, camera that took all my original VGA YouTube videos. That little camera is the only reason I actually got into YouTube. Uh, if Canon hadn't given me a replacement for my A30, uh, which, which died, or had chronic faults all through it, its life, uh, and I, <laughs> I think there was a class action against them at that stage. Anyway, they gave me that camera gratis, and it had VGA capability, and uh, I thought, oh, I'll try this out. It blew me down. People actually subscribed to my channel, which surprised the hell out of me. So anyway, now you're stuck with me, and uh, yeah, it did a good job in the early days, but now I've got a decline, and it's a better camera, but it's also a lot more expensive. Anyway, that's it. Turned out pretty damn good, I think, from a bit, for a bit of junk. I could touch up the paintwork. I don't think I'll worry about it. It's only going to get thrown in the back of the ute and that. So overall, you know, I don't know. If I'll see. But uh, yeah, handy, handy little thing to have. And uh, yeah, worked out well. All right, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.